I have decided to put a disclaimer at the very beginning of this video, first time that this has ever happened on my channel. The following video will mostly include scenes of me ranting, yelling, getting angry, etc. It'll pretty much probably be unlike any way you've seen me act before on my channel. The topic I will be discussing is going to be very difficult to ham handle calmly. In fact, I could say I shouldn't and probably won't be able to handle the situation calmly. So if you don't want to see me angry or like not the way I usually am, I don't recommend watching this video. But if you're prepared to see what I got, stay tuned. Hey everybody, Super Jackson one here. It's been a while since I did a normal video. And just in case, just for you guys to know that Wild Ride has not complete has not completed filming. We've actually only filmed a couple scenes. Uh, just that everybody, all the cast members' schedules are all over the place, so we're still figuring out schedule dates. Hopefully, by the end of the summer, filming will be completed and we'll have a trailer out. But as you saw from this disclaimer, this video is. You might see me angry, ranting, shouting, cursing. Here, topic out of topic. If you saw my short video five days ago, I'm going to say I am a supporter of the Free Britney movement. For those living under a rock, well, actually, I didn't say that because, you know, some people aren't, probably aren't even aware of this. Free Britney movement is a movement of fans who are trying to help pop singer Britney Spears be released from her conservatorship that's been run by, by her father, which she has been in for the past 13 years, ever since it was placed on her in February of 2008. For those who don't know what it is, a conservatorship is basically when somebody is deemed incapable of making their own decisions or stuff like that, and they have somebody controlling. There's two types of conservatorships. One that controls, like, you know, their finances, and others that control their personal lives. They're usually typically for older people with dementia or stuff like that. Brittany was placed on this after her public breakdown in 2007. She was sent to a hospital and on psychiatric hold, and she was placed in, on both of the conservatorships. At first it was made temporary, but then it was later made permanent. It was run by her father, Jamie Spears. And I'm just trying to remember everything. Most of this is explained in the documentary on Hulu, Framing Britney Spears, which I did watch way back in February, and I've been a supporter of this. Pr pr pretty much prior to this, I wasn't really into Britney Spears. I didn't even know she was in a conservatorship. I didn't... I, for all of us, well, I didn't even know what a conservatorship was, but um, then I watched it because it was all over the news and everything, and uh, my Facebook friend, Eric MacArthur, watched it as well, and he is also a supporter of the Free Britney movement, so Eric, if you're watching, this is for you. Um, I'm doing my best. Jamie Spears filed this apparently worked with this uh, person named Lou Taylor to get this conservatorship in place. Apparently, according to a book that Britney's mother, Lynn Spears, posted, uh, published a few, a few years ago, or I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember when the book was published. Apparently, they've been planning this conservatorship for six weeks, and Britney was never given notice or due process or stuff like that, so she could choose her own attorney. The court somehow deemed her incapable of hiring her own counsel and appointed a court-appointed lawyer to represent her, Sam Income. I think I, I believe that's how you say his name. 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 Forgive, forgive, forgive me, forgive me if I uh, mispronounce that. Um, yeah, Sam Income, uh, and which he has barely done anything. And the judge of that, I believe her name. Forgive me. Let's again. I'm t I'm terrible with pronouncing names. Riva Gerez, I, I I really do not know how to pronounce the uh, the judge's name, but um, she and the court somehow deemed her incapable of choosing her own attorney. But despite that, Britney Spears was immediately put back to work and did all these tours, four world tours, all these record all these albums, everything. The Free Britney movement really started in, I believe, early 2019. Um, Britney was supposed to be doing a, uh, a show in Las Vegas called uh, Domination. I think that's what the name of it was. Apparently her father was um, 
you know, his colon had ruptured a few months prior and they canceled the show due to like, you know, she wanted to be with him for his illness. And then in early April of 2019, they said Brittany checked herself into a mental hospital for a 30 day stay, um, a 30 day stay, okay? Which then people were getting a little suspicious about this. Basically then what happened was there's this podcast called Britney's Graham. They're the ones who really started the Free Britney movement. I believe, I believe the podcast is called Britney's Graham. And around, I believe, April 16th of 2019, it was either the 16th or the 17th, I, I don't remember. They were like, you know, showing, around the time, they were showing like suspicions about what's going on with Britney's social media. Basically, Britney's Graham, what they do is, it's the podcast, they talk about what's going on with Britney's social media and they're suspicious about the stuff. When they were, that week, when they were talking about how, you know, they're suspicious about what was going on with Britney and everything and how she had been seen for months. A couple days later, they received a voice, an anonymous voicemail from a guy. He, he wouldn't say what his name was. Um, he claimed to have been a, uh, a former paralegal for uh, an attorney in Britney's conservatorship. Um, but of course, then it apparently said he uh, retired or he, he, no, he left that job like two weeks prior. He explained a full story that was nothing like what they said. They said that... Um, Brittany was in rehearsals for domination and it came to Jamie's attention that Brittany wasn't taking her medication as prescribed. Uh, so the doctor then said, okay, let's put you on a new medication. And Brittany refused to take the new medication and Jamie pretty much gave her an ultimatum. Either you take this medication or the show's off. Brittany refused to take the medication. He was true to his word. And according to what the paralegal said, I'm saying the paralegal because like he, nobody knows what his name is. Um, the paralegal said that Jamie verbatim said, blame it on my illness. A couple weeks later, Brittany was seen driving, uh, picking up fast food in her car with her boyfriend, Sam Asgari. I think that's how you say his name, who they've been dating since 2016. Um, and apparently one of the things is Brittany is una cannot drive under a conservatorship without permission or not at all. Like, I, I don't remember. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know how court work, how, the, how this thing works. So apparently then after, apparently Brittany seen driving was the final straw and she was sent to the mental inst institute. Apparently she did not want to go there. She'd actually been there since late January. And that's when the whole free Britney movement started. This was more, it was even further expanded in this past February when the documentary Framing Britney Spears premiered on FX and it's also currently available to stream on Hulu, which like I said, I have seen the doc, I did watch the documentary back in uh, around late February and I have not watched it again since there's, I know the more I watch it, the more I will get pissed off. Last Wednesday, Britney Spears finally spoke to the court in a virtual hearing, explaining how everybody's theories of her conservatorship are true. She is being she's been abused and is practically a slave, for even compared to sex trafficking, for the past 13 years. There is an audio, the audio, the, the, there is on YouTube, I will put a link to it in the description. You can also find it in my likes playlist. For 23 minutes straight, Brittany explained everything that, a lot of stuff that had been happening in the past 13 years of what is going on. She apparently had been taking these forced medications and that she didn't want to take. They were practically drugging her. And apparently this doctor who was very abusive to her had her on lithium, which apparently said made her feel like she was drunk. And lithium is a very dangerous drug. And apparently the doctor was so abusive that the doctor, he unexpected, he, he unexpectedly died back in May 2019, I think, for nobody knows nobody knows how he died. Apparently, Brittany actually got on her knees and thanked God for that. And apparently also they've been, um, oh, sorry. They've been forcing her to go to therapy. Uh, they won't let her do therapy at her house. And they have her go to this area that's, um, uh, uh, they have her go to this building that apparently is always surrounded by paparazzi just to humiliate her and harass her. And apparently also Brittany says that the whole thing of her uh, being sent to the mental institute, apparently it was because apparently she refused to do a dance move or something. And the, uh, forgive me if I'm stuttering, I'm trying to remember everything. Um, because remember th this recording, this recording, she talked for 23 minutes straight. So it's, she apparently had to go to this uh, mental house or something like that. And she says that her father was 
loving every minute of controlling your life, so obsessed with it, saying, we're going to send you to this place. You're going to pay $60,000 a month and you're going to pay for that. And she was crying on the phone and he loved every minute of it. That's what she exactly said word for word, I believe. Her family has done nothing to help this. Apparently then the, uh, at the mental area that she went to, they were always around her 24 seven. She had to sit in a chair for 10 hours, no way out the door. Apparently then she didn't have any privacy. She had to, you know, or every day she had to get dressed and undressed in front of her, in front of them. And also she apparently wants to have more kids, settle down, you know, have a daughter and everything. They can't because you know what? They had her have an IUD and they will not let her go to the doctors to remove it. And all these Instagram posts and everything, it, it, it's well known that she doesn't run her social media. Some lady named Cassie Petray, I think, does it. And I want to say that um, in her social media post, she's saying, oh, I'm fine and stuff like that. She revealed, she was making all that up. She was in denial. She didn't say, the reason why she's never really come out on this is because she says that she was worried nobody was going to believe her. And, uh... And um, also, apparently, the way to terminate this conservatorship, you had to file a petition to get to terminate the conservatorship. Brittany claims that Sam Ingham never told her this. And also, she's been paying for all the estates and everything. She's been paying not only for her lawyers to help fight her father, but also paying for the lawyers that her father is paying to pay for the lawyers that her fa father is using to fight her. And let's see, what are the couple of things that are interesting? Apparently then, also, she only has like a $2,000 weekly allowance or something like that. It, it's, a, it's a long story. Like I said, there is a 23-minute recording on YouTube. I will put the link below in the description. Now we're going to get to the rant and get some angry. She revealed all this to Judge Penny, and so far we haven't heard any information. Brittany apparently and, and her boyfriend Sam um, Asgari um, are currently on vacation in Hawaii just to get away from things for a while. I don't know where to begin on this. I just, I didn't, I was hesitating whether or not I wanted to make this video, but her sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, finally broke silence and did an Instagram story where she claims that, like, you know, she's supporting her sister and everything, trying to act like she's a victim and all that. I'm going to say this. Fuck you, Jamie Lynn Spears. Fuck you. Fuck you. And you know what's weird? Jamie Lynn Spears played the, the title character on Zoe 101, which is if, you, if you've been subscribed to me for years and remember my, my rant videos about Dan Schneider, which, by the way, my opinions on those shows have changed and everything, I said, Drake and Josh and Zoe 101 were the two shows that I was, I was still willing to watch. And now with Zoe 101, I, I refuse to watch it. Even, even when I was younger, I never liked her character on the show. She was, Zoe was fine in the first season, but as the show got on, went on, she just got more and more unlikable and annoying and boring. But you know, we're, we're, gonna get, we're, we're getting off topic. For, forget about that. Jamie Lynn Spears, you were named a trustee of the estate for a long, for back in 2018 and trying to get control. You, there has been evidence, court documents showing that you've been using Britney's money, taking her, taking advantage of her. And you have done nothing to speak out for her. Never, she even says, I've been supporting her even before there was a hashtag. Why have you never hashtag free Britney then? What the fuck? And, uh, let's see, what else do I want to say is that, and also, her husband named Jamie Spears, yeah, I don't know, what is it with Jamie and the, and the Spears family and everything? Apparently, he made a defense saying that Britney's family loves her and wants the best for her. Okay, how is abusing her like that, drugging her, and pretty much treating her like a slave in her best interests? I really want to know that. And also, before the hearing happened back last Wednesday, ABC uh, News hosted this live stream of like like an hour all about the Free Britney Movement rally and stuff like that. And one guy made a good point. Back then, the court um, deemed her unable to hire her own counsel or make her own decisions and stuff like that. This guy made a good point that I think a lot of people are wondering too. What exactly was presented to the court that made them come to that conclusion? What exactly made them say, oh, yeah, you know what, this this girl can't make her own decisions, despite the fact she was having a tough life. Britney Spears, for those of you who know, in the past, had a breakdown. She shaved her everything, because in her, in her prime time and everything, she was constantly being harassed by the paparazzi. Wherever she went, literally out in public, there they were, following her, and wouldn't leave her alone. And recent interviews have stated that those paparazzi people do not regret doing that. They said that they were just doing their job. Yeah, I don't give a shit. 
You can clearly tell in those photos and everything, she doesn't want to be annoyed. She doesn't want to be bothered. So they can't, so why don't they just fuck off? And also, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, let's see. I, I apologize again for the, uh, the stuttering and everything, but yeah, what exactly, what exactly was presented to the court that made them come to the conclusion that she couldn't hire her own counsel and everything. Apparently, recently an interview came up with her former attorney, Adam Streisand. Apparently he tried fighting for her, like, you know, being her attorney and everything. Judge Rena uh, apparently refused to saying like, oh, she looked at this one document and wouldn't even show it to him that said, oh yeah, she can't make her own decisions. Okay, that, that is bullshit. Also, Jamie Spears made, he lied. He fucking lied to the court by claiming that Britney had dementia. What? Britney was, I think she was 26. Yeah, she was 26 when uh, the conservatorship was put into place. That would be the youngest person with dementia. And apparently nobody, medical records have been sealed. They are not allowed showing any, they will not even show any medical records to prove this or, you know, you know, to dispute that she had dementia. No, she doesn't. She's able to memorize all the choreography and her music videos and stuff like that directing all of them and stuff like that. She knows what she's doing. And by the way, back to Jamie Lynn Spears. I want to talk about, well, first before her, I want to talk about Lou Taylor. Lou Taylor, apparently, who, like, you know, apparently is revealed to be the main culprit behind, or the main mastermind behind this whole conservatorship. What? Uh, apparently, she's had a history of putting people, celebrities in conservatorships or attempting to put celebrities in conservatorships. Apparently, two years after Britney's was put into place, she tried putting Lindsay Lohan into a conservatorship, but... Lindsay Lohan's father fought back and refused to allow that to happen. It's believed that Lou convinced Jamie to put the conservatorship in place. And you know what? Jamie Lynn Spears, Britney's sister, the mastermind behind ruining Britney's life, Jamie Lynn Spears is very close with her, great friends with her. You stab your sister in the back like that, and you say you support her and everything, and that you always support her. No. Look on Twitter and everything. And by the way, if you follow my Twitter, you know I'm a, I, I always rant about this kind of stuff about the Free Britney movement. No, you do not. You do not care about your sister. Your Instagram story that you posted today, nobody is buying anything. You only made that Instagram story because people are filing a petition to get you kicked off a show on Netflix that you're starring, that you star in. I, I, I do not, I, I, don't, I don't know what the name of the show is because I don't really pay attention to what goes on with J uh, Jamie Lynn Spears' life. I feel so bad for your kids, Jamie Lynn. How do they deal with the fact that their mother is a monster? Doesn't care that her own sister is practically being treated like a slave, being treated like a child who can't make her own decisions or control her own money. This has been going on for the past 13 years. Why? Why will you not do anything? Jamie Lynn is not the only guilty one. Oh, we're going to get to them. Lynn Spears. Britney's mother. She apparently lately apparently has been fighting, apparently claiming to fight for Britney's side and everything, but she's only doing it because they know that in the past she didn't do two shits about, didn't do, literally did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Didn't care. And was always spending time with Jamie Lynn, but what about Britney? Do you not care? Really? Do you not care about how your daughter is being treated? You don't care, do you? And, okay. Who are we going to talk about next? Sam Ingham. You are Britney's court-appointed attorney. She never wanted you to be her lawyer, but she's all you, you're all she has, all she's allowed. You, in the past 13 years, a recent article came from an ex-boyfriend of Britney's claiming that Britney had asked Sam Ingham several like five times a week to try and terminate the conservatorship sam has not done a single thing at first he claimed a while back that britney was in like a comatose kind of like stable place where she couldn't make her own decisions or choose her own counsel and everything britney spills all that out of the water sam did not even tell her that she could pick her own attorney she had the ability no no sorry For, forget i just said that no sam did not tell her that she could file a petition to terminate the conservatorship he never told her about that. It's like you, Sam Ingham, you are, it's like you are secretly fighting for Jane, for Br Britney's father instead of Britney. 
You are supposed to be following in what she wants. You are her lawyer, a lawyer she never even wanted. But why will you not help her out? File the fucking petition. A couple months back, People made this threat or blackmail to Sam Income saying he had until, I believe it was May 13th, to file a petition to terminate the conservatorship. If not, people would report him to the California State Bar with all the evidence they had. That is what they did. I was one of those people. And a couple weeks later, we got a, everybody got a letter in their mail. I, I even got the letter. I, I, I don't know if I still have the letter or not. I'm not going to look for it, though. Claiming that their reports to him were declined or ignored because apparently only the conservative can report him. No, she, Brittany cannot control that. She has no control over that. She cannot report him like that. Like, what is up with the California court, the California State Bar? What about you, Judge Penny? Why are you not doing anything about this? Like, is there something about Brittany that you don't like? Like, what could you possibly hate about Britney so much to the point where you're like, yeah, I'm going to let her be abused by these people. I'm, I've let it go on for 13 years. Well, technically, actually, it's been nine years since she became the judge for this case back in 2012. But, um, like, do you not like Britney? Do, is there something about Britney that you hate so much that you think that her being abused like this is revenge? Like, we need an, an answer. And people are saying, oh, it's because they're getting paid lots of money and stuff like that. I, I feel like, though, there's more to money. It's more than this than just money. There are millions and way easier ways to make millions of dollars that doesn't involve ruining someone's life. Do they know? I don't know. Maybe they just don't care. Sam Income and Judge Penny. She, she literally claims that she is afraid of her father. Brittany has claimed that she is afraid of her father. And also... Apparently, most of the claims that Brittany said, she sold, said this to Judge Penny back in 2019, and they were ignored. Why? I literally want an answer from all this. Like, your silence is just going to make things more suspicious. What? What? What is going on? Like, why are you not allowing this? This woman is almost 40 years old and being controlled by her father. Like, a ch being treated like she's a child. Being treated like a slave. Is this legal? Also, forcing her to have an IUD in her? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. That's going against the human body and consent and stuff like that. Comparing it to sex trafficking? And there are some attorneys, like, you know, who aren't part of this case who say, oh, they're going to look into it because of, like, you know, they're going to, like, try and evaluate, saying, oh, she, um, she's crazy and stuff like that. She is not crazy. She's been abused and she is traumatized from this. Keep in mind, this was an... This happened in February of 2008. At the time, I was six and a half years old. Now I am 19, about to turn 20 years old. 13 years. 13 years. And you haven't done jack shit. Brittany doesn't have dementia. You can clearly tell this woman, this woman is, a, is capable of doing all these tours, all these concerts, television show interviews, etc. And before this court hearing happened, Vivian Thorine, I think that's how you say your name, is, like I said, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing these people's names, um, claim that, oh, um, Brittany mostly has 99% of her freedom and everything, and her father's just doing her best interest. She, her father loves her and misses her. After Brittany explained everything at the court hearing uh, last Wednesday, they took a 20-minute recess. Lou Taylor requested a 20-minute recess. When they came back, all she said was, she said, now, by the way, after the documentary came out, Lou Taylor... No, not, not Lou Taylor. Vivian Thorine, excuse me. Vivian Thorine. If I, if I said Lou Taylor calling the recess, I meant Vivian Thorine. Um, after the documentary came out, she criticized this, claiming, oh, Jamie's being portrayed as the bad guy and that he loves his daughter and he misses her. So after Brittany spoke to the court last Wednesday, Vivian Thorine requested a 20-minute recess. She came back and said, that, first she said that her father is sad by the way how she feels and everything. Then she word for word said that phrase again saying how he loves his daughter and misses her we're gonna get to jamie spears in a minute i'm trying to think is there anything else are you people not aware like do you california court people like i'm having a hard 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 time believing that everybody involved is 
everybody is that everybody in the California State Bar is totally on board with this. It means getting paid. There's thousands of people in the in that court system. You're telling me there's not one person, even if it's just one person who know who has decency and is like, this isn't right. We need to end this. I want to know. And I I don't I don't I don't know what's what's going on with. And then there's also Brian Spears. I think that's that's it, her brother's name. He claimed last year that Britney has always wanted out of this. Adam Streisand, by the way, always always constantly claimed that Britney w would have been willing to do the temporary conservatorship back in 2008. But the one thing she requested, she did not want her father in charge. Did they listen to her? No, they didn't give a shit. All they care about is money. Money this, money that, money, 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 money. Judge Penny, you are under public pressure right now. If you do not do something, if you act, if you allow this conservatorship to continue, somebody is going to go out to get you. I'm going to say that right now. I'm not saying it's going to be me because obviously, no, I would, no, I'm saying it's not going to be me, obviously. But, you know, a deranged fan or something like that, obsessed fan or something like that could be come out to get you. And you guys are under public pressure. You guys could be blackmailed and stuff like that, harassed and everything. You guys got an image to maintain. You want to maintain that image? Want to be seen as a hero? Terminate the fucking conservatorship. Jesus Christ, how... You guys have made millions of dollars off of this in the past several years. How much money do you possibly want? Is there a specific amount you're saving up for? If you got that specific amount, will you fuck off? Like, what's going on? Now, we're going to get to Jamie Spears. Britney's father. You are a worthless piece of shit you are a monster you are an abusive shithead Ed. Ed. dickhead you're an abusive shithead dickhead I don't know why you are if you want your daughter to be in this conservatorship and everything why would you allow her to be abused like that and make her not want to be in it why not just let her do what she wants? Why will you not step down? You have been making millions of dollars off of her for the past 13 years. I'm sorry to keep saying it, but remember, it's been 13 years. How much money? You have enough money to settle down and retire. You know, back then, this was, when this conservatorship first started, it was originally a temporary one. At the end of February 2000, no, it was around November 2008, excuse me. It was made permanent. Had he not got, had he just made this a temporary conservatorship, helped Britney get back on her feet a bit and continue to do concerts and then ended it right after that. He could have been seen as a hero, but no, he had to make it permanent and could send it on for another 13, for 13 years. It, this was back in 2008 and it is currently 2021. And this free Britney movement has been going on since April of 20, it's, today is June 28th, 2021 this whole thing first started back in this whole free britney movement i believe started back in april of 2019 so two years and two months why prior to this conservatorship jamie barely had any involvement in britney's life that is a hardcore fact where were you then where were you then and suddenly you see her that she's in this mental institute and gets the idea oh there i i I think it was Wretch in the documentary prior to only Jamie's only involvement back in the past apparently had said like oh I'm gonna she's gonna make enough money to buy me a boat Some, something like that you saw this as an opportunity to get her money and put her on a conservatorship what are you and Lynn Taylor and and um, the brother are you do you guys favor no, sorry. You do you guys favor Jamie Lynn over Britney? You are drugging her, making who who knows how could she get overdose? She could end up like Marilyn Monroe or other celebrities that ended up, you know, gone at a young age and everything. Britney is this year, Britney is currently 39, but this November she's going to be turning 40 years old. And you are treating her like a she has still has to, she can't really do anything without your permission, like a child. Why? Why? What I want to know. Why will you not step down? I, I'm sorry to say this. That colon rupture you had back in 2008. I wish that colon rupture had killed you. 
I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that dark thought, but I had to say it. Apparently, and also, you're now living in an RV in the parking lot of a of a, uh, a storage facility. Yeah. Okay. And you're looking all. You're 68 years old, and you're not looking too good. Brian Spears, Jamie Spears, Lynn Spears, Jamie Lynn Spears, Lou Taylor, Gina Govez, or uh, Judge Penny, Sam Income, and every other, Vivian Thorine, and every other person involved in the conservatorship for Britney Spears, you are all going to prison. You abused, drugged, forced an IUD, and practically enslaved this almost 40 year old woman who was constantly having some problems prior to that she had spent mo every time she went out in public the paparazzi would follow her and would not leave her alone and you instead of you trying to help them you know get back on their feet you're like no i'm gonna take over their life just so i can get money how much fucking money do you want guys like are you s saving for a specific amount and everything Oh, and by the way, Brittany has only been able, is only, barely sees her kids, her two sons, because of the divorce and everything. They're both 14 and 15. Um, they have a restraining order against J Jamie Spears because of a physical altercation between one of the sons that happened back in 2019. Brittany's custody rights were decreased from 50% to 30%. Judge Penny, this guy literally abused one of britney's kids and you think that he's still able to be in charge of her life the guy also had drug problems he had a criminal record he had a failed business and somehow you people still consider him good enough to be in charge of this why literally i i would gladly sit down and literally say your explain your defenses and everything for what britney said and tell me what you think is going on why you think this woman who's almost 40 years old should still be controlled by her father Bring it on. There's another court hearing on July 14th. There's a link on Twitter that I'm going to have to access for all these people I can contact about or uh, people to get involved in this, including getting the FBI and even the, the, the state police involved. I might even here in NK host my own free Britney rally on July 14th at the next hearing. Let's pray to the Lord that God Please help Brittany. It has been 13 years. Okay, that's all I had to say. This video probably wasn't as tense as the disclaimer made it seem out, make it seem like it was going to be, but had to be said. Hopefully my next video will be more peaceful.